Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. In today's session, we'll see how to install the DB browser for SQLite. So this DB browser is a tool for interacting with the SQLite databases. And by using this environment, so we can execute the SQL queries. So first let us download it and then we can install that. So first go to the google.com and type SQL, SQLite DB browser download. So go to the first link and here we'll be getting the four links. One is a standard installer for 32 bit dot zip for 32 bit 64 bit and dot zip for 64. So you can select the third one. So because here my system is a 64 bit operating system. So I will select the third one. So how to check where the uh, this 32 bit or 64 bit. So go to the this PC and right click on this PC. Go to the properties. So you'll be finding here. So this you can see here 64 bit operating system. So I am having the 64 bit operating system. I have to download the 64 bit operating system compatibility. This one, right? So click on the third one. So it start downloading. So once it was downloaded, we have to install. It was successfully downloaded. So go to the downloads and here you can observe double click on this one. So uh, click on next accept the terms and conditions next and uh, you can select the shortcut you can create the shortcuts for the desktop and click on next see this is the location where this sql light is being installed so i am not changing this one let it be default so next and install so that it will install the db browser so once it was completed you'll be getting this uh, dialog box that uh, click finish button to exit the step uh, setup wizard and thank thank you for installing the db browser so click on finish and on the desktop you can observe the db browser sql light so here you can observe here so double click on this one so automatically the db browser will be open here you can simply execute the sql queries so you can create the table delete the table delete the rows okay alter the table update the table okay anything all the sql queries can be executed in here right so if you want to create a database simply click on this new database so give the name for the database so i'll give saradi right so saradi uh, i will uh, i will save this one on the desktop so saradi save right and next it was a prompting for the table so i, I i'll create a some employee table so table name so give the table name so i'll give the table name as employee right and here you can add the fields the first field is emp name so which is of a text data type and it should not be null and it must and this is a primary key and unique right so if you want to add more simply go with this one so i will go with the employee id so which is an integer and it should not be null and a primary key right and add some uh, employee salary right salary is also we can give the integer so it should not be null and just click on here okay so you can see employee the table was created now okay table was created so if you want to add the data uh, simply go here and uh, See insert employee salary, employee name, some Saradi, employee ID 101, employee salary, some 1 lakh. And if you want to add one more uh, thing, so click on here, insert a new thing. So it is a 1 or 2 and uh, 1 lakh salary and Sandeep. Right now you can execute the query here. So select star from what's the table name here employee right employee so if you execute this is a button to click to execute so you can observe here we got the thing i think the data has not been uh, saved here the second one also not saved so but here we can simply 
create a table we can insert the values and we can execute uh, all the queries here all the queries right so see here we are having some one one zero one and the salary will it will give a one lakh here and one lakh twenty thousand here one lakh thirty thousand here or one lakh uh, 25,000 here, right? Here I'll give Saradi Sandeep Satvik Abhiram. So I have given some four employee names. So after that, we need to uh, click on this one, right changes so that it will be saved. Now you can observe here. So select star from employee, execute you'll get the details of everyone. So I think the database is Saradi, so it was not taking. So I'll give some Rajesh. So write changes. So go to the execute SQL and select this one, click on here. So we will get the table here, right? So you can execute the queries in this tab, execute SQL and edit the programs and this is the browse data so here we can insert the table by clicking on this one so you can see insert a new record in the current table by just clicking on this one we can insert the new records and this is a database structure so this is an employee so the database is sardi.db you can observe here in the in the menu bar uh, sorry in the title bar you, you will be having this one sardi.db so here we are having some create table if you want to create one more table so simply go with this another one so i'll go with the students and add the fields add student number which is integer it should not be null and primary key and go with this another one student name which is a text and not it should not be null and student percentage again integer not should be null so if you click on ok so one more table will be created so here you can observe there are two tables okay there are two tables right so two tables under saradi.db right if you want to add uh, records here so go to the browse data here you need to select the table in which you want to add so whether it is employee or students if you go to the students this is a blank table right so till now we have not recorded any uh, table we, we have not inserted any record so it was blank and here you need to select the table and uh, you can apply the this one options that means how to insert the tables and here you need you can execute any query for any table so that the result will be displayed here right so hope you understood this one this uh, db browser for sql lite so which is used to execute the sql queries so hope you understood uh, this is a very simple to download and install the software and you can enjoy the executing the sql programs so hope you understood this one and uh, if you are having any doubts regarding this one feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much